So back in May, I used my Canon mirrorless camera to photograph the moon with a 300 millimeter lens, an f2.8 LIS USM. It occurred to me when I got my second telescope, the Celestron C6, that I should revisit the moon now because I had a whopping 1500 millimeters of focal length. So I'm like, okay, let me get a T2 adapter. I'll throw that on the Canon, put that on the C6 and take a photo of the moon. But not just one photo, I'm gonna take a thousand photos because I can. Just look that around. and then pick the best 40% and stack those and see what we can get. Anyway, I've just finished processing that image and I want to show you so you can actually see it on the screen behind me. That canvas size is 4,000 by 8,000 and the image on the right, which was taken with the Celestron C6 yesterday is 4,000 pixels by 4,000 pixels. Hobbies are supposed to be fun. You heard me say that on the channel before and this was such a little fun project to revisit the moon. And what I'm gonna move on to is what's on the second monitor here, which is the Andromeda Galaxy M31. That was captured in narrowband with my deep sky rig outside, the Altair Hypercam 26M on a Altair 80 wave uh, triplet apochromatic refractor. Now, I'm actually going to take on the big boys with that project and compare my data against data captured with a telescope live rig down in Spain. It was captured with a Takahashi FSQ106, which is a really nice telescope, and I think it had a QHY600M, which is a freaking expensive camera. That should come out next week, the Telescope Live comparison. In the meantime, go and check out Telescope Live. I'm really enjoying using their service. Um, I've provided you guys with a unique code in my channel description. You can grab that and get 50% off your first two months at Telescope Live. And uh, definitely check out their one-click bundles. I'll be showing you guys that in the next video as well. A huge thank you, I should say, uh, for the 365 of you to click the subscribe button. The reason I've got the GoPro is so I can pump out content a little bit quicker because these full-blown 15-minute uh, cinematic edits I've been doing take me like two full days to complete, like to film and edit. They are full on. Uh, in the meantime, let me just really quickly show you something. So Andromeda Galaxy, the next video I'm making, I've got a full data set on M42 Orion Nebula ready to process in narrowband. Same with the uh, Lion Nebula, SH2155 and Wizard Nebula. So these are all completed data sets uh, ready to be processed and that's just gonna keep feeding uh, feeding the machine. It's gonna be really cool to sit down uh, when I've got some rainy weather coming through and get into Pix Insight and start editing uh, some of those completed data sets. Also, uh, I have a bunch of credits on Telescope Live that I wanna get into some, perhaps some Southern Hemisphere targets. I get stuck into those as well with some really big, expensive telescope rigs. Okay guys, I'll get this up for you. See you later, bye. What if I tell you there's a hobby out there that will test your patience like no other and get it transferred into the body of the camera? that will satisfy your tinkering needs, that will drain your bank account, that will mean you don't need to come into contact with anyone, ever. Welcome to the world of mono astrophotography. This is Astro with Chris.